guys, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Valorant Episode 9 Act 2 for better FPS and performance so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and then go over to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will give you better FPS because it consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra FPS. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode optimizes your PC by turning things off in the background, saving you a memory headroom for your games to perform well. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings, head over to that and then click on change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as reduce your input latency. Head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and go to the install location of Valorant. Once you're in your Valorant folder, head over to Live, Shooter, Game, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find the win64shipping.exe. Click on Add and this application will be added into the list. Head over to Options and then select your graphic card. Click on Save and that should be it. Close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that, head over to the install location of Valorant and over here you have to find the win64shipping.exe. Right click on that head over to properties then click on compatibility click on disable full screen optimizations and then select change high dpi settings select override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok and then click on apply step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and select your local disk c click on create and name it valorant i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done click on close and close system properties next step is the valorant episode 9 act 2 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you'll find in six simple folders over here first one is the cpu priority and you'll find an amd and intel cpu priority once again if you have an amd cpu like me you have to double click and run the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority next is valorant priority and this is the most important one leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here next is ram optimization and over here i have given a preset value for more most of the RAM stick configuration for your PC and I have 32 GB RAM right over here so I need to double click and run the 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can double click and run the RAM registry according to your PC. Once again if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default from here. Next is the programs folder and this is a bit complicated. Firstly you'll find a cache cleaner.batch file and this helps you to clean up all of your cache files and unwanted temporary files from your PC. Right click on this and run this as administrator. It will start deleting all of the cache files from your PC and don't worry this is completely safe doesn't delete any of your important file this will simply delete all of the temporary and unwanted files from your pc some dumb files which are created while you're running the program and don't need it anymore simply minimize it because it will auto close next is memoryduck.exe and this is the setup file once you double click and run this you can find memoryduck installed on your pc simply open this thing up and click on clean memory here is a simple explanation how memoryduck actually works go over to the performance section of your task manager and you guys can see that 13.1 out of 31.9 gb of my memory is currently in use as you guys can see there is a 41 percent memory usage and as soon as i click on clean memory and then click on yes it will start dropping down it helps you to clean up significant amount of your memory by turning things off that are running in the background which will help you to get an extra headroom for your games to perform much well i highly recommend you guys to run this every single time you open up any game on your pc next is msi mode utility 3.0 you can right click and run this as administrator again and once it opens up you'll find a list of all of your pc components right over here you have to look for your graphic card right over here click on the msi button in front of it and for the interrupt priority select high and then click on apply this will help you to set your gpu affinity to a better state where you can optimize it and get extra fps last one is quick cpu and this is the most most important one this is a setup file you can double click and run it install quick cpu on your pc and simply open this thing up once it opens up you can see the data on your pc and what you're looking for over here is core parking you have to make sure that all of these sliders are set to 100 percent and your system power plan is set to ultimate performance and if it is not don't worry i'm gonna be telling you guys how you can exactly do that but once again over here click on memory data and then click on clean and this will again help you to fix your memory distribution on your pc to gain extra fps once it is done click on apply and then close quick cpu next step is 
disabling unwanted service and for that simply open this folder and you'll find a ton of services available on your pc so again if you use any bluetooth device do not disable the bluetooth services but again you can disable every single one of them after that and this will help you disable your core parking downloading maps manager extra necessary services printer service transparency service xbox service thread priority and win32 priority separation all of them will help you to optimize your pc and disable unwanted services running in the background to gain extra fps and once again if you want to revert them back you can use this folder and revert every single one back to normal without any issue last is the power plan settings and over here is how you can get the ultimate performance power plan you can simply right click and run this as administrator and this will actually add a power plan onto your pc then you have to click on this power plan over here and this will open up your control panel to set up the power plan on your pc once you are here you'll find the bear fox ultra perfo plan or the simple ultimate performance plan if that is available and once you're done with that click on it and it will automatically set the best power consumption settings on your pc once you are done with that you can feel free to close the fps pack and move ahead with the next step valorant episode 9 act 2 config settings and for that you have to press windows and r key on your keyboard and then type in head over to local and then look for valorant on this list go over to saved config and you'll find in a lot of folders which are randomly numbered right over here what you have to do is click on date modified and this will give you the latest modified file right over here double click on that go over to windows client go over to windows and you'll find in game user settings.ini right click on that and open it up in notepad this is a complete game changer you'll find a lot of settings over here which are hard settings and some of them cannot be changed while you're in the game what you have to do is set the vsync to false dynamic resolution to false resolution size should be your native monitor resolution for me it is 1920 by 1080 preferred full screen mode should be set to 1 audio quality level should be set to 0 this is the most important one frame rate limit should be 3 fps lower than your maximum refresh rate of your monitor if that is 240 hertz for me i have to set it to 237 if that is 144 for you you have to set it to 141 if this is 60 hertz for you you have to set it to 57 i hope you get the idea but once again for many of you guys, zero would work the best as it will set the unlimited FPS settings on your screen. Then you have to look a bit down and you'll find scalability groups over here. For beginner low end PCs, I would suggest you guys to set this thing somewhere between 80 to 90% and this will help you to improve your performance significantly. Once again, every single one of them, you have to set this thing to zero and this will help you to reduce the complete effects in the game and help you to gain extra FPS. Once you're done with that, simply press Ctrl and S key together on your keyboard and save this file. Once you have it ready, right click on that, head over to properties and then click on read only and then click on apply. This will set your application settings as it is and your game cannot make any changes into it no matter how much you make the changes in the settings panel of your game. This will not allow the game to make further amendments by itself so you'll make sure that you have the best settings applied whenever you're in the game. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using no ping. No ping acts as a VPN between you and the game servers, eliminating all middle parties and help you to connect to the game server without any hindrance and this will ultimately help you to fix your ping, packet loss, latency issues and so much more. You can simply download this from the link in the description below. Once you open up no ping, you can see an interface just like this and over here it offers you more than 300 games to choose from. You can simply look up for Valorant in this list and then click on select the server. This allows you to pick the nearest server according to you and for me it will be Mumbai servers. So you have to scroll a little bit down until you find your own country and you'll find the lowest ping right over here. That is going to be 6 milliseconds for me. What you have to do is simply click on optimize this game and one click is all it takes to connect to the game servers directly without any hindrance. The best part about no ping is the settings gear right over here which offers you turbo games which improves your keyboard response and if you head over to the boost FPS settings and copy the exact settings that I have done over here, you can achieve maximum FPS in the game and this is why I highly recommend you guys to use no ping. Next step is setting up your virtual memory and deanimating windows and this is really really important. 
For that, you have to search for Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows and then head over to Adjust for Best Performance. Click on Save Taskbar Thumbnail Previews, Show Thumbnails instead of Icons, Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts, as well as Show Window Contents while dragging. This will reduce all of the Windows animations which consumes your CPU utilization and make it minimal and admirable. And once you're done with that, simply click on Apply. These are the animation settings that I personally use myself and this helps me a lot. Head over to the Advanced tab right over here and for the Processor Scheduling, set this thing to Programs and for Virtual Memory, click on Change and then you'll find a list right over here. Deselect Automatically Manage Paging File Size and for the Custom Size, set this thing to 1361. This number is a little bit over 1 GB and it is the most optimal value that I have found to be put over here. Then for the Maximum Size, it should be half of your total physical memory and to know that you can search for System Information and over here you'll find in your Installed Physical Memory, that is 32 GB form. So head over to Calculator on your PC and then multiply the installed physical memory with 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to put in the maximum size and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. Once again, don't forget to click on the set button over here and then click on OK and this is exactly what you need to gain extra FPS. This step will add up to 5% FPS right away. Last and foremost important step to reduce your input latency is disabling sysmain and for that head over to services on your PC and once this window opens opens up, click on S button on your keyboard and look for sysmain right over here. Right click on that, head over to properties and you'll find startup type. Set this thing to disabled and for service status, make sure that you have stopped this. Sysmain does not really help your PC and it consumes a lot of CPU utilization. You can simply turn this thing off, restart your PC once and this will be turned off. It will help you to gain up to 5-10% to FPS boost itself and combined with all of the settings we have done, you can achieve maximum FPS in Valorant. Once again, I'll be coming up with laptop optimization as well as network optimization. So do share your support with this video. And that is it for this one. I hope it helps you out. If it does, make sure to leave like and smash the subscribe button. Once again, if you're not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership because there are a lot of new membership perks that you guys can go and check out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.